Creating a correctly formatted Works Cited page is easy. All you need is a few shortcuts available in Word. Once you finish copying and pasting Works Cited entries from databases onto a Word document, which is what you see here, clicking on a few keys will take you from this draft to a Works Cited page ready to turn in to your teacher. The first step is to highlight everything that you see on your Works Cited draft. The easiest way to do that is to hold down on the control key and type the letter A, which will highlight all, A for all. Your next step is to go ahead and set the correct font and size. At Jefferson City High School, we require Times New Roman 12 point. While everything is still highlighted, this is a good time to double space. The way you do that is by holding down on the control key and typing the number 2. That will double space your work. The next thing we need to do is alphabetize. There's no need to go through and work your way through A, B, C, D and try to figure out what you need to cut and paste somewhere else on the document to alphabetize. Instead, move up to the alphabetizing key, the AZ up here. While everything is highlighted, click on the AZ key sort by paragraphs, that is correct, and hit OK. Your work is now highlighted. If your entry does not begin with a letter, let's say you don't have an author and your entry begins with quotation marks, then what you would need to do is temporarily delete the quotation marks before you hit the AZ key. The computer does not know how to read the quotation marks and will not alphabetize with that. Once you have alphabetized, then you can go back and add in the quotation marks that you had to temporarily take out. All right, back to the document that we had. We'll go ahead and highlight everything again. We now need to indent the second and subsequent lines on each entry. Simply putting the cursor in front of a second line and hitting the tab key over and over and over again is not going to indent that line for you. So we'll go ahead and highlight everything. If you look up here on the ruler, we have three little buttons. Scrolling over the top one will say first line indent, the middle one hanging indent, and the bottom one left indent. Scroll over the middle one and wait until you see the words hanging indent. Don't do anything until you see those words. Once you see hanging indent, click and hold on that button and move to the half inch mark. That will indent all of your lines for you. The next step is to go ahead and type works cited at the top. Notice that works is plural because we have cited more than one work on this page. We will go ahead and center that. The next step is to put your last name and page number in the upper right hand corner. We want to insert a page number. It goes at the top of the page and we want it on the right side. You then type in your last name and a space, double click back in the document, and you have your heading up there. On your completed paper, this will not be page one. If you have a four page paper, the works cited page will be page five and you will need to adjust at that point. Once you have completed all of this, it's a good idea to go back and catch any mistakes that were in the database entries that you copied and pasted. For example, in this first entry, you don't need that period there, so we could go back and delete that. You also need to italicize the title of the original source and the title of the database. Make sure there's a period at the end of each entry, and so you would just go through and correct each of those entries there. Of course, if you have questions, you can ask your teacher or a librarian as you're going through this process. I hope this has helped you work your way through the process of completing your Works Cited page. Need more help? Visit your school library or media center and ask a librarian. They are always happy to help.